I have completely run out of clever ways to say that we have yet more news about the Oppo Find N5, the sister device to the OnePlus Open 2, straight from an Oppo uh, project manager on Weibo. I'm just going to show you what the news is. We all know that with the OnePlus Open, it was very, very, very good. And one of the best things about it was that insanely fast Super VOOC 67 watt wired charging. But it was missing something. Maybe the biggest omission of that device was the fact that it did not have wireless charging of any kind. In this new post on Weibo, their project manager stated the following. This is translated from Chinese. So I'm basically just going to kind of give you the general overview, but you can read it for yourself there. They omitted wireless charging on the original OnePlus Open to keep the thickness of the device down, but now somehow they have managed to squeeze not just any old regular wireless charging, but 50 watt wireless charging into a device, which is also radically, radically thinner than the original. If somehow you have missed it, here is a look at exactly how thin this device is. It's about half as thick as the newest iPhone unbelievable and somehow while that is true they've also squeezed in 50 watt wireless charging now what's interesting about this is that we heard something like this was going to happen from a report on smart pre the problem with this report was that this render ended up being incorrect the camera module on the back does not look like that everything is sort of shifted around so they got this wrong but some of the other things that they mentioned was correct they also said an ipx8 rating and that is also wrong and that's something that we have to talk about in this video because it will not be ipx8 it will actually be ipx9 now what does that mean ladies and gentlemen it means that as you can see here in this video, again posted on Weibo by their senior product manager, you're going to be able to take this device fully underwater. I'll zoom in on this a little bit so that you can see a little bit better. But guys, this is absolutely crazy. She's actually filming while swimming around, filming some fish, IPX9 on a foldable device. Now, if you're not familiar, IPX9, what this means is that it has the highest level of protection against water. This is absolutely crazy for a foldable device. So unfortunately, the X is their sort of dust rating, so it still does not have any kind of dust rating. The Galaxy Z Fold 6, for comparison, is IP48. That means it has one step down in the water resistance, but the 4 means that it can resist particles, solids of one millimeter or larger. Now, let's be honest, that's not really dust. One millimeter is those are like small pebbles and things like that. But still, it's worth pointing out IP48 versus IPX9. I do want to quickly point out before I end this video, the Smart Pre, for the things they were wrong, the IP rating, the renders, those were wrong. But they were right about the 50 watt wireless charging. Might they also be right about 80 watt wired charging going from 67 to 80? Here's hoping because that would, I mean... Just absolutely insane. That's that's a crazy number. They're also saying a 5,900 milliamp hour battery. Color me skeptical on that one. Probably closer to maybe like 55, 56. But who knows? They were right about this. Do you think they're right about that? Do you think they're right about that? Let me know. So there you go, guys. Confirmed 50 watt wireless charging on the Open 2 slash Find N5. Should be fully announced in February. We also do have IPX9 water resistance or i guess waterproofing at that point maybe that's still the wrong word i don't know let me know what you think in the comments down below i'll see you on the next one and until next time stay nerdy my friends